Breaking, Trump's entire wall just got paid for by one person and you won't believe who. The fight over who will foot the $12.15 billion to fund Trump's U.S.-Mexico border wall is no longer an issue after one person could be forced to pony up the bill for it under the most ironic of circumstances. News is breaking right now from one of the most outspoken advocates of the border wall outside of President Donald Trump, who just dropped a bomb to solve the funding problem with one simple solution. The money for the wall is already in America's possession. We just need to get permission to use it now and the one who it belongs to has no say in the matter. You could call Senator Ted Cruz the best problem solver with devising the perfect solution to get moving on one of Trump's biggest and most important campaign promises. Breitbart reports. Senator Ted Cruz, RTX, introduced a bill calling for the use of $14 billion seized from cartel drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman to be used to pay for the president's border wall between the U.S. and Mexico. It makes perfect sense since one of the world's largest drug cartel leaders benefited by the billions in an open border. Now that he's in custody, it's only fair that the blood money and holding go to good use against Chapo's cause and Cruz is a genius for proposing this idea. $14 billion will go a long way toward building a wall that will keep Americans safe and hinder the illegal flow of drugs, weapons, and individuals across our southern border," Senator Cruz said, as was reported by Briet Bard Texas who received a statement from the senator's office on the matter. Ensuring the safety and security of Texans is one of my top priorities. The entire objective of the border wall is to dramatically slow the flow of drugs and crime into America through avenues established by El Chapo. His forfeited drug money fortune will offset the wall's cost and make meaningful progress toward achieving President Trump's stated border security objectives, Cruz's statement continued. The bill, appropriately dubbed the Ensuring Lawful Collection of Hidden Assets to Provide Order, El Chapo was introduced by Cruz on Tuesday and with any luck will get a lot of conservative support. Of course, liberals are greatly against the idea of a wall, preaching for breaking down walls of communication rather than building them. This utopian idea can't and won't work as El Chapo proves with his billions of dollars and thousands of lives lost to his enterprise. The U.S. government is currently seeking the criminal forfeiture of more than $14 billion in drug proceeds and illicit profits from El Chapo, the former leader of the Sinaloa drug cartel who was recently extradited to the U.S. to face criminal prosecution for numerous alleged drug-related crimes, including conspiracy to commit murder and money laundering, Cruz stated, Breitbart reports. Bar Texas El Afonso Ortiz reports that as part of the agreement with Mexico, Guzman will not face the death penalty in the U.S. for his crimes. This makes the money usage even better since he has to live holed up in a jail cell for the rest of his life and know what all of his money is being siphoned into. Just because the kingpin is out, doesn't mean that his cartel network is, which is still an operation breaching our border. It couldn't be better than to make their boss pay for the wall that's needed because of him and shut the whole drug and crime funnel down for good.